Hey, hope you're having a good Wednesday. I want to welcome you to today's edition of Journey Through the Gospels. And today we're in Luke chapter 8. And in chapter 8, we see an interesting story where a, uh, a man named Jairus approaches Jesus and says to him, and actually begs him, to come and heal his daughter. His only daughter is, is sick, very sick, and begs Jesus to come heal her. So Jesus begins to head to Jairus' house. And in the process, uh, many people are gathering around Jesus and, and uh, pushing up against him and, and causing him to slow down a little bit on his way to Jairus' house. And then a woman reaches out and touches the hem of Jesus' garment, and she's healed. And Jesus stops what he's doing. He turns and he says, Who touched me? Because he's, he feels power going out from him. And uh, eventually they realize that this woman has touched him and she's been healed. And uh, you know Jesus says, Your faith has made you whole. And uh, then he begins to head on to Jairus' house. And as they're on their way, some people from Jairus' house come and, and find Jesus and Jairus and tell them, she's already passed away, it's, it's too late, no, no need to bother the teacher now. And then notice what Jesus says, starting in verse 50. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid, just believe, and she will be healed. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She's not dead, but asleep. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished. But he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. And I want to look one more time at verse 53, the response of the people in the room. It says, They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. Now, when you think about it, if you were someone in that room, you've been waiting with the sick girl, and you know that Jairus has gone to find Jesus, and you're hoping that Jesus gets there before she dies and she passes away and several go out to find Jairus to tell him hey you don't need to bring Jesus now it's too late and then Jesus shows up and says to you she's not really dead she's just asleep now wouldn't you laugh I mean wouldn't it be be um, logical that you would laugh in that situation why because what Jesus said seemed impossible to them. It was so impossible that she would not be dead and just asleep that it made them laugh. It made them laugh. That Jesus would even consider that she could still be alive or that she would be able to be raised from the dead because, I mean, that's the only logical thing that could happen if she's dead. Uh, if she's just asleep and that she would wake up, the only logical thing would be that she would have to come back from the dead. And, boy, that would just seem la laughable that anybody would even consider that. But here's the thing. Jesus is able to do the impossible. I mean, when the angel came to Mary in Luke chapter 1 and told her that a virgin, she as a virgin, was going to give birth to a baby, and Mary said, how can this be? I'm a virgin. The angel replied to her, with God, all things are possible. With God, nothing is impossible. I mean, nothing is impossible with God. Even a, a girl that, that is dead... The, the, to think that Jesus could bring her back from the dead may seem laughable to us, but with God all things are possible. So my question to you is this, is what do you need Jesus to do in your life that if he did it and you tried to tell somebody else that it would cause them to laugh? They, they would think it was so impossible that it would cause them to laugh then I would give those wor these words to you, what Jesus said to Jairus. He said, don't be afraid, just believe. Don't be afraid, just believe. 
It may seem impossible that God could ever change your situation. It may seem that God uh, impossible or laughable that God could heal your cancer or that God could get you out of the financial mess that you're in or that God could breathe life back into your dead marriage. But with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Don't be afraid. Just believe. And God can do that in your life. God can do what seems impossible, what seems laughable. God can do it. Don't be afraid. Just believe. And that's going to do it for today. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to be in Luke chapter 9. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you tomorrow.